heard me once before. Yeah, actually. Grapes Hill. Grapes Hill, yeah. So, um, how do you feel about what's happening in Australia at the moment? I think it's crazy. I can't even get my head around it, to be honest. And I just saw this morning the police are being brutal to young girls, pushing old women to the ground. The Aboriginals and, 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 Aboriginals and uh, other Australians are being put into concentration camps. And if they leave the deck, it's a £5,000 fine. <laughs> It's crazy, I can't believe it. Australia was the land of the free. Crocodile Dundee, you know. <laughs> and it's gone. They've lost it at the moment. At the moment, it will come back. Do you think um, the tyranny, not just in Australia, but over the world has gone way too far? And uh, how, how long do you think it's actually been going on for? Do you think it's uh, um, hundreds of years? Well, I've been quite happy. I've been quite happy until two years ago. Things weren't right, but I could do what I wanted, do where I wanted. And now I can. And how do you think about the uh, mandates that have just been put into the UK? Um, I don't think any, anything about them really, because it's not law. And I have this little thing to say I don't need one. So, I don't need one. So yeah, yeah I don't. Uh, I take the notes of it. And what do you think about how uh, 60,000 care workers were sacked for not having? Oh, I have a friend who's just been laid off. Yeah, he's. He's very upset. He loved his job. So, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Who's going to look after... Well, there won't be any old people to look after, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's a bit nasty to say that, but what happened last winter? They give them all and they all died. And I heard something um, yesterday from an interview about... Um, uh, in America, they were given... The, the, the only medication uh, authorised by Fauci in all the hospitals in America was... <laughs> they tested it in Australia and 53% of the people they gave it to died. And he knew this when he, when he took uh, all the other medi... Uh, what was it? Um, I, I can't remember the name. But he took all other alternative medications off, off the board and, and did this ribazolin or something anyway but that had been tested 53% of people died and he knew this so it was a death drug for the elderly and the people in hospital basically. and um, how long do you think this is going to last do you think that the um, protests um, and the uh, freedom fighters are going to come up on top or do you think it's going to go the other way I, I, I would like to think so uh, I, I like to see more people getting upset and angry that their lives are being destroyed. My life's very different to what it was two years ago. I, I had a trip planned and I, I can't, I couldn't do it. And I probably will never, ever, ever leave the country again. So, it's not good. Thank you. Not good. Thank you.